Hey team, I'm here with the Join 360 degree camera system that they've just come out with. This is their first attempt at a 360 degree camera system, so I'm very eager to see uh, what this looks like. I wanted to do a brief overview and a very quick unboxing just to show you guys what's in here and uh, kind of go over some things. Later, I will have an install video and I will also have a review video, so stay tuned for that. But for now, let's, uh, let's get this thing unboxed here. So this is the mat that you're going to have to lay out on the floor and this is what's going to allow you to adjust the camera system. It's got some lines on here and you'll be able to get the camera situated in such a way so that it shows the lines just correctly. Uh, that way you've got a good stitch because that's exactly what it does. It takes the front camera, it takes the rear camera, and then it takes the driver's, the passenger side and the driver's side, stitches them all together, and uh, this is going to help you get that stitch just right. So it looks like this camera system comes with new front and rear cameras. Now I've already got front and rear cameras on here. So I'm curious to see if the front and rear cameras that I currently have are going to work with the system or if I have to install these. So that's going to be, uh, that's going to be a good question to ask. Now I can tell you that this right here, that's going to most likely go underneath the side mirror and the same with this side too. But I do like that these are color coded, so you can't really get these wrong. Red, yellow, black, and blue. And then of course, these are what's going to help screw and put these on. I like that it comes with a hole saw, so that's good. I don't have to go out and buy a hole saw here. Let's see what else we've got. So that's the front, and it's color-coded black. Red is the left side. I guess we'll have to find out what's considered left and what's considered right. Is that driver or is that passenger? Then we've got the rear. Here we've got where it brings all the systems in coming out to this one side. And I believe that this is most likely going to end up hooking up to the uh, inside the head unit. Yeah, this is going to be the part that ends up hooking up inside the head unit. I wonder what these white wires are for. Uh, maybe that's power. Let's have to find out. And then last but not least, we've got the right side. Hey team, I want to interject just for a couple seconds here uh, in reference to this 360 degree camera earlier in this video I mentioned just the front camera that I currently have on here does it interact with this 360 degree camera system and my assumption right this is an assumption I, I don't know this for certain I need to reach out to join and I need to ask them but my assumption is no the AR camera system that's what that's what they're calling it they're calling it the AR camera system I don't believe that that's going to be at all incorporated with this 360 degree camera system. I've messed around with the APK that's inside of the head units, uh, Android 12 operating system. And uh, I believe that, that APK or that 360 degree camera system that runs on that APK, that Android packet kit, I think it's completely separate from the AR camera. Originally, a couple days ago, I was thinking this camera system is gonna be able to record, right? Kind of like the Tesla uh, sentry mode. The Tesla sentry mode has that 360 degree constant recording. Something tells me that this is probably not going to do that. I think that the uh, front and rear camera system that I currently have that also act as if they are um, parking monitors or like the Tesla Sentry uh, system or like the dash cameras that I have, um, I think that this is not going to record. So I'll find out. I'm going to ask Join, and then, of course, I'll have this thing installed, and I'll get you guys some answers as well. So please stay tuned. So I'm going to get this stuff spread out have you guys take a look.